1969, a dry cleaners in Pakistan accused NASA of stealing the name Apollo. I'm not kidding. This is a real thing that happened. So really guys, I'm not kidding. This was a real thing that happened. This is the letter. Well, this is actually a printout of the photograph that I took of the letter that I found in the Nixon library recently. I'm not totally sure why it says from USA at the top, but Apollo wet and dry cleaners. So legitimately, it is a dry cleaner named Apollo. Uh, the address is listed as Victoria Road in Sadar, Karachi, which is in Pakistan. So like I said, this letter came from the Nixon archives, which means that it was indeed sent to then President Richard Nixon, but it was also sent to General Phillips. It was sent to the American Center in Karachi, the American ambassador in Karachi, as well as Rocco Patrone, the director of the assembly building at Cape Canaveral. So unfortunately, I can't actually decipher the name in the signature. It's not below anywhere, so I'm not entirely sure who this came from. Uh, pr presumably the owner of Apollo Wet and Dry Cleaners in Karachi. Um, but he writes, Dear Sir, we Apollo Dry Cleaners hereby invite your kind attention and would like to request your honor that you may please send us the diagram and catalogs of Apollo 10 and 11 regularly and kindly reply to us that you have copied the name of Apollo as we started business 20 years before well, NASA was not in picture. The letter ends requesting a reply since its last letter went unanswered. So the dry cleaner apparently wrote to then President LBJ um, asking to please attend the Apollo 7 launch again because they, NASA stole the Apollo name and it wanted to be a present well-wisher of the Apollo program. Um, so unfortunately, I only found this recently and I didn't know to look in the Apollo 7 folder at the LBJ archives when I was there last year to see if there was in fact another letter from of the Apollo dry and wet cleaners. If I ever end up back in Austin, I will have to go look. And I couldn't find, it was not evident that uh, the Nixon office actually replied to uh, Mr. Apollo dry and wet cleaners. Um, so yeah, I have nothing more on this. And I don't know, and I haven't, again, I haven't been to the NASA archives since I found this letter very recently, so I don't know if NASA replied, but this is a thing that exists. And this is my favorite, this is an example of my all-time favorite things that happen in archives. Like, no one thinks that when you write a letter to a president, you just assume that it's gonna go to some aid, that someone's eventually gonna get it, and it's gonna disappear somewhere in the messy ether that is thousands and thousands of things reaching the White House on a daily basis. What you don't think about is, every single thing ends up in the archives. This, this letter from a dry cleaner from 1969 is in a presidential library run by the National Archives and Records Administration. <laughs> So that's it. I honestly just thought this is way too funny not to share. I love that this is in perpetuity in this country forever as a formal record. Um, so like I said, guys, I have a ton more Apollo stuff coming up in the next few weeks. Um, that's Apollo the missions, not Apollo the dry cleaners. Oh, and um, I did look it up, and from what I can tell, this dry cleaner has gone out of business at some point since 1969. It actually looked pretty recent. There was a Yelp page for it that had no information, so apparently it might have existed until fairly recently. And I also found an Apollo dry cleaners in Tempe, Arizona. So if you're there and you want something spacey to clean your clothes, try it. Let me know how it is. <laughs> so I've got tons of weird little Apollo tidbits that I've dug up in various archives um, coming at you guys in the next few weeks. I'm also going to be doing my Apollo 11 live tweet for those of you who remember or don't. Um, I, I live tweeted all the Apollo missions except 7 and 9 on their 45th anniversaries um, and I focus on the weird little things that we don't really talk about much. So of course the major mission events but also like what songs woke up the crew every morning and who cared about what sports scores because there was a lot of downtime and a lot of air to ground banter. So that will be starting on July about 15th. I'm going to be doing sort of some like pre-launch stuff too. Um, so definitely follow me on Twitter to be warned about that because um, it's going to take over my Twitter feed. Um, and yeah, we're going to have some fun digging into Apollo 11 stuff. So if this is your first time visiting Vintage Space, welcome and please subscribe so you never miss an episode. And of course, if you guys would like 
vintage space content every single day of the week and also want to be ready for my Apollo 11 live tweet, be sure to follow me on social media. There will be plenty of warning before it all gets started, but I've got some really fun stuff planned and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Um, no more dry cleaners, but similarly weird stuff. Okay, thanks so much guys, see you next time.